Yo, what is going on guys? I'm giving you an Arizona Coyotes shootout commentary talking about how they did last year, how I think they're going to do next year, and how I think they're going to go for the future. So to start off with, the Arizona Coyotes finished in 29th place with 56 points. They kind of shook up their team a lot in the, the beginning of the season, and they, in my opinion, they tanked it. Not as bad as Buffalo, but they did tank it. They made some trades for, obviously, prospects. We got They got rid of Yandel. They did acquire Duclair, though, who's a good rookie. Speaking of prospects and rookies, they have a lot of them. They're one of the top ones. They have Strom, who they just got last year who was their third round pick who they are the only team that really got screwed well obviously buffalo got screwed too but they actually went down the spot again buffalo went down the spot as well but arizona was supposed to get the second round pick and they ended up getting the third round pick because oilers hopped them and buffalo but they got strom at the third round pick who's a very very good player i'm not sure how he's gonna actually turn out but in my opinion he looks like he's a very solid player they have samuelson as a prospect domi duclair they have they have a lot of other ones as well and some of the the best player on their team oliver ekman larson is only like 23 or something like that he's very very young their team although they have Oliver Knollerson and some very good prospects their team is probably not gonna make the playoffs this year I don't think they're gonna come too close either they have Vermette, Bodger, Doan, eh, some some all right guys Hansel's pretty good but besides that not too great goalies is a bit of a mixed packet they have Mike Smith who was really good a few years ago maybe like two three years ago he was uh, pretty shaky last year they have Dubnik as well but that is what they did last year and that's a little bit of their future. Some of the trades I want to go over are they traded Korpakoski for Boyd Gordon. So that trade's a bit, it's not too great for either side, to be honest. It's just a mad trade. Here's a trade I do not like at all. Phoenix, no, Arizona Coyotes traded Sam Gagne, a 2016 conditional pick or 2017 third round pick to the Flyers for Grossman, which Gagne for Grossman straight up is, uh, I think the Flyers got a much better end to this. Gagne obviously didn't have a great season last year, but he's still a lot better player than Grossman and his contract's not as bad. And also, they got the contract of Chris Pronger to the Coyotes. So I don't like that at all for the Coyotes. I don't know why they would give up Gagne 2016 conditional pick for Grossman of all people and Pronger. Obviously, the Coyotes have cap space, but I just don't like that trade at all. They, is, they traded a pick to Calgary as well. So besides that, nothing else really happened. They got Bodker for another one year, Vermette for two years, Lindback for one year. Besides that, nothing else too major. So where I see the Coyotes finishing this year is depends on how good Oliver ekman Larson plays, how good Smith plays, and and I guess just how if if any rookies are actually going to play on their team. I'm not sure if they're going to have any rookies play on the team this year, but I'm saying they finish bottom four team in the NHL. I could see them finishing dead last, honestly. But Oliver ekman Larson is a very, very good defenseman, a very good player. And that's where I see them finishing. I don't think that they have a chance to make the playoffs at all. Again, that was a pretty nice goal, but I don't think they have a very good chance to make the playoffs at all. Their team is just not very good at all. Their best forward is Bodker, Vermette, or Hansel, and those are all like... They could be first line guys, but mainly you think of them, you think of second line guys and they don't have too much depth. Their goalie, well, Smith's been pretty shaky lately, like I said, so you don't know what's gonna happen with that. And defense, Yandel was a big part of it and he was traded, so their defense is just Oliver ekman Larson and a few top four, top six guys, nothing else too special there. Well, that's my opinion on what I think the Arizona Coyotes will do this year. I think they're gonna come in bottom four team. I even think bottom two team makes a lot more sense because with their roster, where they're going for their direction, they're rebuilding. I think in a few years, they'll be very, very good when all the rookies come up, if they all perform as their expecta expectations are shown for them. But right now, Arizona Coyotes are a bottom four team, in my opinion, and they're not making the playoffs next year or even the year after that. Maybe in three years or two years, they'll make the playoffs. But for right now, Arizona Coyotes are a bottom team. If you guys know this video, please leave a like. I want to hear your suggestions or feedback in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Back to my ways. People always ask how I got my nice things. Take my crown to the grave. I'm an underground king. I bet we can make tonight the greatest story ever told. Cause I'm down to spell whatever later.